What I watched on Netflix. What I watched on Netflix is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Hello again to another episode of What I Watched on Netflix. This time I watched the movie Rebirth. Uh, it's about a self-help group. A uh, man is invited by his friend to it and everything just kind of spirals out of control from there. It's directed by, let me look it up here. It is directed by Carl Mueller. Carl Mueller. He was the writer for Mr. Jones. Um, he was also the director. Uh, Mr. Jones, not a bad movie. I think that might be on Netflix as well. Uh, it stars Fran Kranz. Fran Kranz. Who, Cabin in the Woods. Uh, one of the sole survivors in Cabin in the Woods. Uh, Adam Goldberg. Um, Saving Private Ryan. Uh, Days and Confused, played Mike. Uh, Nikki Whalen, who is pretty hot. Um, she's just one of the girls at the self-help group that kind of runs it. Uh, there's also, uh, Franz, whose name is Kyle in the movie. His wife is played by Kate Foster, or Cat Foster? Cat Foster. Smoking hot. Uh, she plays Mary. Uh, yeah, so that's it. So, uh, there's more, obviously there's more in it, but, uh, it's released in... 2016 but it is considered a like netflix presents kind of film um they do say it's new so i might have just showed up on netflix just recently um so the story is uh what's his name kyle is invited by like i said his friend zach um to go to a kind of a weekend retreat um called rebirth and he he's kind of stuck kyle's stuck in a rut where he's just kind of doing the same thing over and over again goes to work goes home Hangs out with his smoking hot wife, plays with his daughter. Honestly, it doesn't seem like that bad of a life, but anyways. Um, and Zach shows up one day at his work and says, Hey, you're living a really dull life. Come on, let's go party. You remember when you were in college and you said, you know, like, don't, you know, fuck the man kind of thing. I mean, like, people grow up, Zach, seriously. Um, so he decides to go, and it's just really weird from there uh, where it just... He goes, and there's a <laughs> there's a big sem seminar with all the group of men, and they're blindfolded, taken in, and then they're all, like, start chanting, uh, this is not a cult, <laughs> this is not a cult. I'm sorry, if you have to chant, this is not a cult, it's a cult. Um, and then he just kind of goes from room to room. There's a lot of, like, kind of sexual stuff going on at this retreat, uh, rebirth seminar kind of self-help thing. Um, and then there's some twists and kind of turns later on in the movie that don't really work too well, and the movie kind of lands on kind of a, a dull thud. Um, but the more I thought about it, the more I thought, you know what, this is, you know, it's kind of interesting. I, like, as soon as the movie was over, I was like, you know what, I want to look it up. I want to see what other people thought. Of course, opinions are pretty negative on it. Um, but there's also a few opinions that kind of agree with how I felt that there is some hidden stuff in the film that you're questioning you're like what really is going on and i'm gonna end the end of the movie kind of makes you wonder you know like is this true like the, the, are certain events happening that are actually like true or is everything kind of not true i don't really want to spoil anything because it actually is a movie that i recommend checking out i mean it's not an absolutely amazing movie and you're not gonna don't expect like like I don't know, like this huge revelation when you watch it and you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. Um, and you're probably going to be disappointed at a few twists, like a few turns. Um, and like I said, the ending is going to kind of leave you like, hmm, I don't know. But you know what? I do say recommend checking it out. It's called Rebirth. Um, like I said, no, not an amazing movie, but I think you'll like it. One second. There's someone at the door. Hi, my name is Michael Tatlock, and I just got done watching Rebirth on Netflix. After watching Rebirth, and I felt like my life was in a rut, but after watching Rebirth, I feel re 
rejuvenated. Honestly, it was the most amazing experience I have ever, ever experienced on Netflix. Um, see, before I would just find myself sitting in front of the TV, uh, flicking through Netflix, watching movies like, say, Death Race 2050 or Titan, and it just, it just wasn't what I really wanted. It wasn't. I felt like my passion was not being used appropriately. But after seeing Rebirth and realizing that yes, I can make a better me, a better Michael Tadlock, and that's what Rebirth is. It's a better self-improving movie. No, it's not a cult. They are definitely not a cult. This isn't Scientology. This isn't any of those other market schemes where we, you know, like trick you into doing stuff, trick you into watching a movie that you might not like. No, Rebirth is magic. Rebirth is the reason that I watch movies. And I, Michael Tatlock, think that after you try Rebirth, even just for an hour or an hour and a half, 90 some minutes, give Rebirth a try and I think you will agree that Rebirth is revolutionary. Thank you and I hope you enjoy Rebirth.